Hey guys, what's going on? This is Tom of the Strength Agenda, and this is about half of Team Saw at the Illinois State Championships. Um, we only took about half the crew with because this is a little bit of a travel that was an overnight trip down to Mattoon, Illinois. Um, and they ran a double platform meet, so uh, we had Hoy going at the same time as the girls, opened up at 100 kilos. Um, and then went for a PR competition snatch at 104 and makes both of these pretty well. Um, Hoy's one of those lifters. He's still a little inexperienced. I think he's only been with us maybe a year or so. So, um, But in, in that time that he's been with us, he has made a ton of improvement. Um, after he made 104, he wanted to go for an all-time PR at 107 and uh, just wasn't quite there. And this is uh, Sharon Liu. She is a brand new lifter. She's been with us a few months. This is her first ever meet, I believe. Um, I know for sure it's the first with us, but I think she said it's our first meet ever. So our goal was just to go um, five for six, six for six, and just make a bunch of lifts. And she ended up doing that and doing very well in her first meet. Um, she's a very tall lifter, so she's got a long way to pull that bar. But uh, she moves very, very well. Um, the group that she was working with before did a great job in teaching her the basics of and the mechanics of the lifts. And uh, that was actually a PR uh, snatch for her. So I was really happy to see that. And then here is Chelsea Armstrong. Um, leading up to this meet, she didn't have the greatest prep. She had kind of one injury after another. And then right before this meet, she uh, smashed her pubic bone pretty hard. So those of you weightlifters can relate to that. And uh, doing snatches and cleans were kind of a uh, um, hit or miss for her. But this is she opened up actually at a PR snatch at 68 and then hit an all-time PR snatch at 70. Um, and then she wanted to give 72 a shot and she actually clips her knee on the way up. So she ended up not being able to make this lift, but, um, it's definitely there. Um, she is probably one of the strongest females I've worked with. Um, we just got to work a little bit more on the finer side of the mechanics and everything will be there. And for those of you who saw Ashley in our last video, um, she is in nursing school right now. So she was at the tail end of, um, her semester getting ready for finals and all that. So training was not ideal. But she still got training in, and I believe she went six for six at this competition as well, which I was really, really happy for her to do that in two back-to-back -back competitions for us. Um, she's going to be very good in the 69-kilo class. Um, don't know if she's going to go down to 63s or not. We're, just, we're still kind of not pushing the weight one way or another, just kind of letting her train and get accustomed to the way we do things here at the Strength Agenda. And maybe in a couple months or so, we'll try to figure out what the best weight class is for her. But the one thing that um, impresses me about Ashley is she is fearless. It doesn't matter what is on the bar, but uh, she's going to try and go under it. And sometimes as a coach, you want that, and other times uh, you don't. So moving on to the clean and jerks. Um, like I said, this was a double platform meet, and it was uh, it was very hard for me personally going back and forth between the two, um, especially in the next uh, video you'll see with the guys in their session because I had a lot more lifters going. But Warming up in the clean and jerks, Hoy missed a clean and jerk at um, a weight that he shouldn't have been missing. And I asked what was going on. He said his hip was bothering him. And I said, oh, did you tweak it during snatches? He says, no, it's been bothering me for a little bit now. So athletes, let your coaches know when things like that are going on because otherwise I wouldn't have opened him where I did. I would have dropped his opener. But by the time we realized it, we didn't have the time to lower his opener because he was only two attempts out. So um, he ends up making his opener at 134 on his third attempt. Got a total, didn't bomb out, um, showed a lot of guts for Hoy, so I was really, really happy for that. He ended, And he still ended up with a PR total and a PR um, competition snatch. So, I mean, you, given the circumstances, you really can't be upset about that. And then here's Sharon uh, in her clean and jerks. Um, in the clean, more though than the snatch, um, she's way more aggressive on the on the pole, which I, if I can see that in the snatch, that I think she's going to be hitting some really, really big lifts. But that'll all come with time and as she gets comfortable with the movements. She missed that first clean, just kind of rushed everything, didn't set her back like she normally does, um, and was able to come back and make it. Went five for six uh, at her first meet out, PRs across the board, so you really can't complain about that. And then here is Ashley. Um, I believe it's either her third or second attempt. They misload the barbell. And I mentioned earlier that she is a fearless lifter. And you will see she still tries to make the pull, um, even though it's misloaded. It's not this one. That's her next one. But uh, she's, she, she has a little bit of a habit where she lets the bar get away from her off the floor and then makes contact and just drops into that catch. Um, 
it's not the worst habit in the world, but when you're trying to push those big weights or whatever, that, that, that could be that could lead to a serious injury, and we don't want that to occur. So you want her to meet the bar better in the catch. This is the one, uh, sorry, there's 92. It was, as Derek pointed out in the bottom there, it should be 92, but you lo look on the uh, side of the bar there, and it's loaded to 97. But she still didn't care, didn't look, just grabbed and uh, started to pull on the bar. If she would have gone under that, I would have been really, really impressed. But, um, yeah, I, she, like I said, she's fearless, and she will just grab whatever you throw on the bar and try to make it. Um, they gave her a two-minute clock, readjusted the bar, and she comes back and makes it. And this actually impressed me a lot because um, some lifters, when that happens, they are mentally done, and they just know uh, they, 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 they're just it, – it's not there. They, they're not going to be able to make the lift. And for her to have that misload – have a short clock, turn back around and make that lift. That was that that was really cool and uh, really impressive to see. Um, and here's Chelsea in the clean and jerks. Um, this is one of those things where um, the, the clean and jerk was a little bit more affected by her smashing her pubic bone earlier in the uh, in or a few weeks before. Um, so her she was a little hesitant as you clean as you see there. She was very forward in that catch, but she's so dang strong that she could probably no contact and still make these lifts. Um, she still has a little bit of an issue dropping her shoulders, but that's from her not being able to hold that upper back position in her dip and drive, which we are working diligently on that will get better with time. Um, but I, I'm not too concerned about it because you know she moves well, she's strong. Um, and, and she wants to get better. There are some lifters where you try to work on things day in and day out, and they just don't want to improve. They want to keep doing it their way. That's not the case with Chelsea. She's one of those lifters where I tell her we got to work on this, and she'll sit down with a pen and uh, paper and say, okay, how are we going to fix this then? So, um, yeah, I was just I was really happy with the with with everybody's performance, but in particular these four lifters. Um, we like I said, it was an overnight trip. We got in a little bit late. They all stretched and went right to bed, and we're up at the crack of dawn in here, getting ready to go and compete at the uh, Illinois State meet. This is actually a PR clean for Chelsea. Um, we haven't actually she's clean 95 off the blocks, but this is 93 from the floor, which is a big clean. And she told me she goes, I knew I pressed it out, but I there was nothing I could do about it. Um, as you can see, she's very strong, made that lift anyways. I was very very happy with everybody's performance. Um, stay tuned for part two with the guys. Take care, guys.